What's up, Quack Out fans? I'm going to today. I'm going to be doing a test flight with my uh, F 450 flame wheel knockoff. I am getting ready to take off. We have arms. We have lift off. I need to go ahead and switch this into auto leveling mode. And now we got a nice stable flight. I am running a run cam HD on this quadcopter. So we're going to go ahead and fly it around here in this field, uh, trying to get some aerial footage. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, switch back between the cameras and uh, depending on what kind of footage we get, um, I'm hoping it's not going to have any jello in it. So I have my light kit on, uh, it might be a little bit hard to see, I'm recording on the ground using a Mobius camera uh, strapped to my head and uh, we'll just kind of fly this a little bit above us. And this thing handles great now, now that I've fixed it with the uh, carbon fiber props, working great. So we'll go out here and uh, do a couple laps around this field. So I've been getting pretty good results. Um, this is just mounted the camera to on the uh, F450 is just mounted directly to the power plate. So I don't have any anti-vibration devices on there or you know any special gimbal or anything set up so the jello in the previous videos has been limited um, currently I have it right now it's pointed down towards uh, the border of Mexico and uh, it looks fairly, fairly steady today so starting to see a little bit of the light showing on the, the quadcopter here it is getting a little bit dark it's almost sunset so we'll just keep cruising around here in the field and uh, make sure everything's handling correctly so uh, just to give you a rundown of what I have on this quadcopter I have um, Sunny Sky Motors KK 2.15 board Simon K uh, ESC's that are 30 volt or I'm sorry 30 amp um, I have a light kit on here. I have a Turnigy, uh 2200 milliamp battery, and then I also have a Turnigy 9x transmitter and receiver. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this up again in the air. Hopefully, get a nice aerial footage shot. Um, I'll try to start splicing in full screen uh, videos, and then that way you can get an idea of the quality. Now, the run cam does use a, a wide-angle lens. And the only downside I see to this wide angle lens is that uh, it does get the props into the picture from the previous videos. So I don't really see any way around that uh, unless I mount the run cam on the bottom of the uh, quadcopter. But I put it in the middle towards the battery bay uh, because I do have the candy dropper parachute device which I hope to use here shortly in the future. Um, so that requires all the space underneath the quadcopter, so there's there's no extra additional room in order to be able to mount that down there. I don't have it on on this flight here. I took it off, um, but we'll take it up a little bit higher today. Since we have a nice open field, get a nice view. Uh, you know, this quadcopter has a ton of power with these 980V motors. I believe uh, these are 10 inch carbon fiber props. And uh, when you jam on the, the throttle, this thing will take off. Comes down nice and smooth too as well. Uh, it gets a little shaky on the, on the way down, oscillates a little bit. But uh, the settings that I have on the KK 2.15 board uh, seem to really work with the auto leveling keeping this thing straight I haven't adjusted the settings in probably I would say maybe a month or so at first I was just having all sorts of problems but it was uh, you know mainly just the bad props on there you know rotating or, or jostling or causing vibration and making the gyro get all squirrely and uh, it would not fly correctly it was flying horrible so since then um, you know with these props less vibration the gyro seems to be working correctly now on the flight controller keep in mind this is only 
a $20 flight controller so um, you know I wasn't expecting a whole lot I do like the fact that it has a, a screen on there an LCD screen so you don't have to hook it up to a computer test fly test fly you know you can just make your adjustments out in the field not that any of the adjustments I made you know helped it out but uh, it's going on you know like I said about a month without any issues I haven't had to touch the flight controller since and uh, handling great so um, take it up high here get a nice aerial shot it's got some mountains like I said in the background uh, shooting down towards Mexico and uh, this thing's fun to fly so um, really excited I mean it feels almost as it's a mix between you know a camera bird as well as a racer it's got a ton of power it is fast there's not multiple modes for your speed um, there might be a way to set that up the way that I have the channels mapped um, you know I just have uh, basically self-leveling in there we'll bring it in here so we can take a look at the lights and you can see the red lights here on the back and the light kit as well as the uh, white ones in the front now I have that uh, configured to the three position switch on the transmitter and that allows me to cycle between uh, the different light configurations so you can go strobe or you can go ghost with no ghost or stealth with no lights on at all which is pretty cool so in the daytime if you don't want to wear your battery out or don't feel that you need to use them uh, you don't have to but at night time it's really a good addition to this podcaster that you can fly it at night whereas before I wasn't able to and uh, you know this isn't really a nighttime flyer because if there's moisture or dew in the air um, all the wires and everything is, is exposed on this quadcopter so you know that can cause some problems if the moisture gets in there uh, this isn't you know a sealed up quadcopter since all the wires and everything are just uh, zip tied to the frame so, um, but you know it does give you that extra option to be able to fly it at night if you want to see what these lights look like at night I do have a video posted on my channel so you can take a look and a close look at it and uh, get ready to land this probably going on about seven, six minutes and find a nice level spot and like that and then we pull the stick to the left to disarm the motors so that's the F450 DJI flame wheel knockoff it's a hobby power kit like I said I've got KK 2.15 board, timing K uh, ESC's Turnigy X9 transmitter receiver uh, and carbon fiber props. So if this video helped you out, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.